Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJ A9ZT and we're back with WWE Champions and another six star character gameplay preview video. And today we got the all new Austin Theory, the now. Uh, he is a technician and he's free to everyone this month. So let's get a look at him at six stars. He's a trainer. Pyro gems up to 100% more damage and multiply gems increase their strength by one. So this is actually pretty awesome. Uh, I guess. Uh, a lot of moves don't typically make a lot of pyro gems, so I don't know right offhand. Uh, nothing comes to mind for that, uh, but I haven't got a look at the chase character yet, because sometimes that has to do with the chase character, so we'll have to see what Nikki does, but... Uh, Lynx, he's got the Smackdown and the Modern Era Lynx. As far as the moves go, the Chokehold's the five-star move, Standing Moonsault is the six-star move, but we're gonna start... At the three star level here this is what typically you will use at lower levels probably and i'm just gonna see how this hits at six star with all the bells and whistles so we got the rack bomb seven charge blue deal 157k damage and choose six green then we got the pendulum backbreaker six charge green we're gonna modify a six by six area into silence gems then we're gonna hit the atl we're gonna do 178,000 damage make 35 silence gems into blue and pin the opponent so we got Lawler for blue MP. I put Rosie on here for 100% more uh, silence gem damage to really boost this big hit at the finish. You could just put any blue percent trainer on there or depending on what level you are. If you're a lower level, put a blue flat gem damage trainer on there. Uh, I got Gargano to boost silence gems by 15%. Again, at 6 star, 15% is going to be more than the flat damage coach right now. And I got China here for 20% blue and green gem damage. So you'd use anybody for blue gem damage, anybody for silence gem damage, as long as you got the blue MP to start this up. So it's seven charge, so you could get by with Santa Hogan and some perks and uh, a two MP here. But uh, as far as the strap goes, I am running... 30% uh, all gem damage strap with two 40% boosts on there. Double Fury 2, basically. I got a 50% move damage, all color move damage metal. So we're going to go out here against Sami Zayn and see what this can do. Now, I tested it one time without putting all the trainers and coaches and everything on, and it hit pretty good already. So I can only imagine what we're going to do here. Ooh, let's do this. Let's Let's put this down first. Since I got Rosie giving me the two extra green MP there, I was able to hit that off rip. Now we can choose six to make into green. Now, I don't got max tour perks right now because the MLC just started. Um, let's just do that. Oh, almost cascaded. Almost hit the Cascado. All right, so we got uh, a lot of silence gems, basically. We're going to make 35 of them into blue. 267K plus 35 of these into blue. Let's see what we do here. Survey says... Oh, 3 million damage. 3 million. Piece up, a town down. That's actually pretty decent right there. A lot of times the three-star move says don't hold up, but three million there, turn one. I'll take it. Let's see what else he can do. Okay, to go along with that first set, you do have the super kick, five charge blue, deal 177k damage, and steal up to four MP from each of your opponent's green moves. So if you're going up against somebody running double green moves, I would just sub that in instead of the rack bomb and then use that to load up your greens and uh, keep your opponent from hitting their moves. So I'm not going to show that because it's pretty much the same thing as what we did. You're just going to steal the MP to load up instead of choosing gems, but you get the idea. That can go with that. But we got a full swap out here. So we got the chokehold, eight charge green color sub. We're going to choose seven purple sub gems, 157,000 damage for five turns. Remaining gems turn into silence gems. We got an eight charge purple sub sleeper hold generating 28 random sub gems 128k for four turns the remaining subs again turn into silence gems then we got a five charge purple uh we're gonna choose four trap gems if broken by our opponent we're gonna deal 89,000 damage and increase our green mp by seven if broken by us we're gonna deal 71,000 damage and make 18 silence gems into purple gems so basically we need to break these trap gems right here we want to use 
the uh, the green sub to load up the purple moves then we want to use the purple sub and that'll leave silence gems and then we want to put this on the board and swipe a match of them and we will uh turn all those silence gems into purple and recycle that so that's the idea here i'm gonna start with the green loaded here so i got steel on for green mp i got rosie on for extra green mp because i don't have tour perks and i want to start this on turn one he'll also buff the silence gems uh for the cascade of of the other of the trap gems so that'll be pretty good there uh, and then we're going to go with the High Chief for Purple Sub uh, Coaching and Bruno for Green Sub Coaching. Each of them giving 50% more damage and an extra turn for each of those subs. So we're going to leave the strap exactly the same. So we still got the Double Fury 2. We're going to go out here and see how this one goes through. Two high damage subs and a, a, a big gem damage there. I think this is going to be pretty promising. We could just do that, uh, one of these, one of these, and uh, maybe one of those. See what happens here. Okay, we're doing 236k a turn there too, so that was already some nice damage. Then we would want to put this out, hit him again with a sub, We kind of want a lot of those. So we didn't want to go a lot of extra turns on the sub, but I'll take the one extra turn for the 50% boost. So when I put this down now, I'm going to do this so uh, I can, so I would each one said 18. So I need like two of them, but I want to just put a couple down for the opponent to possibly break too. Cause if the opponent breaks the other two, uh, it would boom. There we go. We get the purples back. I got two traps still on the board. That was 1.5 million. Now, if the opponent broke either of those traps I left on the board, it would have refilled my green sub. Otherwise than that, you could just keep hitting the purple sub and then the trap gem move over and over again. So that's going to be actually awesome. We got one more thing that we could try out here, so I'll be right back. Okay, so we subbed out the green sub, and we actually got the six-star move, the five-charge purple standing moonsault. We're going to deal damage and increase our purple gem damage by 67% for two turns. So that's pretty awesome. And then again, we still got the double purple combo there. I put Motu Ray on. Purple gems do 12,000 more damage. That's new. And I got Gargano back. So we're just boosting the gem damage up this time. And we'll see what we can do. You know what I should have done before was totally put an all heart plate on there. So we're going to go ahead and do that now so because we're trying to see what the boost is going to be here we're trying to see how hard can we hit the gems with this triple purple setup baby come on theory don't let us down we want to see 3.5 million right here all right so this will boost us for two turns we'll wait to do that because i'm not going to get it twice right i need to do i need to do the sub first i need to do the sub first And I need him to leave as many gems as possible. Leave me those gems. There we go. Perfect. Okay, we're going to increase that purple gem damage. And now we're going to do the trap gems. Like I said, two ought to do it. We'll go ahead and just uh, put a couple down there for good measure. We'll see what happens here. Boom! Boom! And 3.1 million, so I bet some tinkering around there. We probably could get it up there, but that's that's actually pretty awesome. Now, if you're going against a six star and you got that all heart there, you're loaded up again the next turn. You would stack all of that up. I bet you're hitting five million on the second go around there. So can't wait to find out. But what do y'all think about theory? I think he's absolutely awesome, and I'm excited. So I think I'll build him past the four star gold at the end of the month. So uh, pretty stoked. Mm, I'll leave you with that. Until next time, y'all.